The premiere of the Korean zombie series, All of Us Are Dead, was met with much success. The show was trending worldwide a few days after its release and had successfully captivated the global audience to tune into the bloodbath. It became Netflix's fifth most-watched non-English series debut in the streaming juggernaut's history, and for very good reasons. However, here are the things you might have missed about All of Dead or Dead while watching this drama. Number 1. Weaklings turning into wicked monsters. The Netflix series' core premise and central plot revolve around bullying. Until he starts confronting the bullies, the science teacher's son is tormented ruthlessly. Later, it is discovered that his father gave him a superhuman serum injection that converted him into a zombie. Another girl is the target of cyberbullying. She is labeled a slut and made to strip in front of the mocking attackers. She is revealed to have lost all remaining empathy towards the end of the series when she murders everyone who had harmed her. The scientific instructor who invented the Jonas virus also fell prey to it. Number 2. The story of academic pressure, grade suppressing Korean students. Many times, the story of exams and universities is mentioned by the characters in the film. Even M.I. Jin has a funny saying, falling from the three-third floor is not as painful as dropping out of college right in the middle of the zombie tragedy. The archery team's character, Ha Ri, is also tormented by not being good enough to enter the national team. Just like that, the pressure of exams and studying seems to be another zombie that has been slowly gnawing at students for a long time. Number 3. Unsympathetic to the refugees. It is made clear that South Koreans have little sympathy for the survivors. The protesters outside Hyacin demand that the survivors return, and some even physically harm them. Four months after the outbreak, the refugees are transferred to a military camp, where they continue to be viewed as outsiders by the community. Number 4. The country has been indifferent to the young generation. I will never depend on an adult for help anything again, Anjo told the soldier while being interrogated at the quarantine base. This statement also partly confirms the true message of all of us are dead. Even Anjo's own father could not save her without resisting the complex legal system and institution. When the Korean army in the movie had a chance to save the kids at Hyacin School, they didn't decide not to. Put in context, this is not entirely the wrong decision because the military is important to saving so many people instead of just a few students, but it also leaves the children feeling hurt and desperate and angry. Eun Ji, the girl who was bullied, filmed a hot clip, but the school did not help, and was even blamed on herself. After not being turned into a bloodthirsty zombie, Eun Ji finally has the strength to protect herself. That power is misused by Eun Ji, but the source is also from the trauma she has suffered. Number 5. Survivor's Guilt in All of Us Are Dead The kids make it out alive. But as they approach the military men guarding the borders of the town, they remember the sacrifice of the others that got them there. They are overwhelmed with guilt for being the only survivors. Have you picked up on any other coolest details as you streamed the show that we may have missed? Comment down below. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please like comment and share with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, see you on the next video.